Hey guys, what's going on? It's October EMP, and uh, today I was going to make a video about um, pretty much just, just a quick overview on what Cydia is, how it works, um, how to use it, and uh, its main purposes and the main things that you can get out of Cydia. Um, so the first question I'm going to answer is what Cydia is, and basically what Cydia is, it's an app store in which you can um, buy or download apps that wouldn't be allowed or have been denied from the iTunes app store. And uh, the reason these apps aren't allowed is because there's specific guidelines that Apple has for their apps to get into the app store, and if you don't follow these guidelines, then your app will not be allowed into the app store. And Obviously, everybody knows what the um, iOS is, the operating system for the iPhone, and everybody knows how it works and everything like that. But when you download Cydia, some of the apps or tweaks or customizations, um, those manipulate and um, change the way and the functionality of the iPhone and the way that the operating system works. And it can add a lot of functionality, and Apple doesn't like this. Um, what the users do, and that's really the reason why jailbreaking and Cydia is such a popular thing. So the first thing that we're going to get into are the main repos that come with um, Cydia. So you don't have to add these repos, they are already in Cydia. Alright, so these are the main repos. Um, we're going to go over the top three, um, mainly the top two, because they're the most important. They have the most um, apps inside of them. The third one, Repo 666 Ultra Snow, if you want to have your iPhone on another carrier, um, then you're going to need this application right here. Um, but that's all um, I really need to go over for that um, repository. The other two are pretty much the main ones for Cydia. They they are all the main apps that you find in Cydia are in um, these two repos. And I'll show you some of the main ones um, that are found within those repos. So here are some of the main applications, and as you can see, um, they range in anywhere in price. And what I mean when I was talking of before about how they changed the functionality of the iPhone and um, its operating system, something like InfiniDoc, which will allow you to put more applications um, and even scroll and page your doc, um, which something Apple does not allow you to um, choose or have the choice of. Or there's another application um, called Lock Info, and um, what that does is it adds um, notifications to your lock screen, which is another thing that um, a lot of people want that Apple doesn't allow you to do. And I'll go down to themes, and um, these are pretty much um, tweaks that um, tweak the way that your springboard and your icons and your phone look. Um, you can have any anywhere from your favorite TV show to your favorite band, um, maybe just um, your favorite color, whatever it is. There's tons and tons and tons of themes out there. Um, some of, most of them are free, some of them cost money, um, but a lot of them are great, and there's themes for pretty much everybody out there. Okay, so now we're in the sections part of the City of App Store. And obviously, this is just what it sounds like. It's just all the different um, categories of applications that you can find within um, the Cydia App Store. So we can scroll down, and I'll show you all the different apps that you can find in there. Some of these might look familiar. Um, these categories are the same as the ones that are in um, the iTunes App Store. Things, um, such as productivity. Um, I know utilities is in here as well. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. It has a bunch of different themes category, um, a bunch of different categories for themes because there's um, tons of different ones. 
as well as complete, which covers all of the different um, categories that you see right now. That's it. The last one is widgets, um, which are locked, which is a locked screen application. Um, well, actually, no, that's Sidgets. Um, widgets is a um, springboard application where you can put widgets, like on your computer, on your springboard. Um, and there's another one called Sidgets where you could um, use your home button when you're on your lock screen to switch to different ki kinds of screens for different kinds of functions. Well, that's it, and the next thing that we're going to go to is changes. Okay, so here is changes, and what this pretty much pretty much is, is every day, whenever you want to actually, you can just go in here and all your updates for all the apps that you have downloaded will be right on the top, as well as all the um, updates for the apps that you don't have, and all the new apps that are added into Cydia every day. Now we're in manage part of Cydia, and um, what this, um, these three different options are, if you can go to packages, which is all the packages that you um, downloaded, you can remove them or update them from this um, category. Sources are um, the repositories that we talked about in the beginning. Um, you can add other repositories from third party, um, third party uh, people, and as well as storage, which will tell you how much um, space you left on your phone for um, Cydia applications. Um, so the first place we're going to go to is sources, and I'm going to show you how you add um, other sources to your Cydia. Uh, so it's very easy. All you have to do is press edit, and then add, and then whatever the um, repository may be um, that you're wanting to add, you just type it in, press add source, and it'll go to another screen, it'll add a source, and then um, your source will be in there. And then after that's all done, you just press done, and uh, you're all set. And that's really all you need to know um, about the uh, sources section of um, the manage section of Cydia. So we'll go back to manage, and we'll go into storage. Alright, so here is the storage part of Cydia, um, the part of um, manage. And as you can see, there's two sections. There's system, and this is where Cydia stores all the very important um, stuff, um, programs and libra libraries, as you can see it says right there. And down here is the private storage, um, which shows all the storage of the stuff that you download, um, and as well as the stuff from your phone, such as your camera um, and your um, music and stuff like that. Um, but that's really, that's it for that section. And now we are at the search section, and um, this is very self-explanatory. I really don't even think I need to explain this to you. Um, but I'll go ahead and search something just in case. So say you wanted um, a new ringtone, um, or say a new tone for your text message. You can search text, tone, and there you go, a text tone comes up. I probably didn't search that right, there's a lot more than just one, but um, as you can see it works just like any other search would. The next thing that we're going to go to is the main page. Um, I might have did this a little backwards, um, but that's okay, as long as I get everything in here. Alright, so now we're on the main page. As you can see it says, Welcome to Cydia by Dick Freeman, um, Sorek, who uh, created Cydia for um, the jailbreak. Um, that happened years ago. So the first category after um, Find City on Facebook and Find City on Twitter is the City of Store, um, which I showed you before, has all the different um, packages listed um, from top to bottom. I showed you that before, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the Featured Packages, which categorizes um, the application is a little bit better. On top is a sponsoring product. And uh, pretty much these all cost money, um, these ones up here. And you, if, you go, oops, if you go down, these are all your free applications. And um, I'm going to um, recommend that you get a couple free applications 
the first one. The first one being iFile, which um, lets you browse your I your phones on the file system. The next one being SB settings, and the last one being Winterboard. And you can re you, if you don't plan on manipulating the look of your phone, um, then you have to get Winterboard. But a lot of people do um, jailbreak um, somewhat specifically for that reason. So um, that would be a necessary application for you to get if you um, are looking for. Uh, manipulating the look of your phone. Yeah, these are, um, you could keep going down. Backgrounder, um, this is a real backgrounding application, unlike the uh, new iOS 4's backgrounding, which when you exit an app in the new iOS 4, um, multitasking, uh, program, pretty much, what happens is it freezes. So if you have something downloading or something's going on within the application and nothing's going on when it's um, in the multitasking bar. With Backgrounder, the applications are actually running in the background, um, so if something's installing, for example, it will complete installing in Backgrounder, which is free. Yeah guys, that's, uh, that's the bottom, go all the way down. That's all you really need to know about that. Uh, we already went into a feature themes before. You really don't need to know the rest of this. I would recommend um, looking into the uh, root password how-to. It's good to um, change your password. Um, Apple has a stock pass password that I won't say. Just, um, just so no one, anybody that has any bad intentions doesn't find out see what it is. But that, so yeah, I would definitely look into knowing how to change that. Um, it's a very good idea, a very good thing to do. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, that's all you really need to know. If you have any questions or any concerns um, about anything that has to do with jailbroken phones or Cydia or anything like that, just let me know, leave me a comment, write me a message, whatever you have to do. Um, I look on my YouTube page daily, so I'm always here. But yeah, that's it guys, and I hope I helped you out, anybody that needed to learn. I know that with the new iPhone 4 and the new jailbreak, there's not a lot of new users, so I hope I helped you guys out. And I will see you guys later.